Welcome to stage five. We now have both cores connected up, as you can see. And uh, without further ado, I will switch it on. For this, I'll just have to put this down. As we can see from my bubbler, despite what I said and suspected in stage five, uh, four, we're actually getting a greater rate of bubbles despite having both cores working. As we can see, if you're not familiar, we have stainless steel cores made out of a mesh approximately six inches long. This is contained in an airtight container and the electrolyte I use is sodium bicarbonate with a minimal amount of sodium chloride to aid conduction. All connections of exterior, as I've previously stated, and this stage represents almost the final stage in production. The next stage will be more of a testing stage, water placement to measure the volumes I'm getting, rather than any further development. As we can see, at this stage, we're doing quite nicely. I'd like to note further that in previous stages, I've used aluminium electrodes, and uh, I've been advised against this, as if you used the wrong type of electrolyte, you can blow up your face. So uh, don't use those. Stainless steel is, in my research, been the best for this kind of thing. The other thing I've learned, you don't need any significant power supply. I'm just using here an 18 volt drill battery. And with this power, you can see we're producing quite nicely there. Count that as about three seconds, well, three bubbles a second, as I say, until the uh, next video. We won't be able to quantify that in any way, as you can see, I'm just in the middle of preparing my measuring device, which will consist of another empty bottle, and we'll see how far we can uh, displace 500 mils of water. I'm hoping that that will probably take about 30 seconds. But as I say, I won't know that till we actually do it. So for now, that's it. Then here's the test when I did the ignition test, which I will no longer be doing, unfortunately, as uh, we're producing too much at this stage to take that risk. And the measuring displacement test should prove my point. But just to show you, here's the damage from running 
that for three seconds. As you can see, the bottom of the bubbler is completely destroyed. Um, there's quite a large radius. I don't know if you can see that. Of the water expelled. I would say the range um, from that with just three seconds was probably in the region of ooh, two to three.